Welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom, your go-to channel for insightful and enlightening content. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of livestock, specifically focusing on the Danish red cattle. The Danish red cattle, also known as the Red Danish or Red Dane, is a major dairy cattle breed in Northern Europe. With over 42,599 pedigree cows in Denmark, this breed has made a significant impact on the dairy industry. But their utility doesn't stop at dairy. These robust creatures can also be used as a beef breed once they finish their useful lifetime. Developed in Denmark, the breed's roots trace back to local breeds bred with angel cattle. Their solid red color and adaptability have made them popular for crossbreeding in tropical countries. They've been imported to many other countries and have been used to improve and form many local breeds. In this video, we will delve into the characteristics that make the Danish red cattle stand out, their diet, uses, and much more. So, stay tuned as we explore the world of these remarkable creatures, their contribution to the dairy and beef industry, and their global influence. Let's dive in. Hailing from the heart of Denmark, the Danish Red Cattle, also known as Danish Red Dairy Cattle or RDM, are a remarkable breed of dairy cattle. Born out of a desire to create a cow that thrives in the Danish climate and farming conditions, these cattle are a testament to the power of selective breeding. The story of the Danish Red Cattle begins in the late 19th century. Denmark's dairy industry was facing challenges, and farmers needed a breed that could adapt to the unique Danish landscape, including its marshy areas and coastal regions. regions. The solution? Importing foundation stock from the Dutch red and white Frisian cattle and Swedish red cattle, and using these as the basis for a new breed. In the early 20th century, selective breeding programs were established to further refine the breed. The focus was on improving milk production, fertility, longevity, and overall adaptability to the Danish environment. The goal was clear, create a dual-purpose breed that could efficiently produce both milk and meat. The Danish Red Cattle Society, founded in 1895, played a pivotal role in the development and promotion of Danish Red Cattle. They maintained breed standards, supported breeding programs, and provided guidance to breeders. Over time, Danish red cattle gained popularity not only in Denmark but also globally. They were exported to various countries, including Germany, Sweden, Finland, and the United States. In some regions, they were even crossbred with local cattle breeds to improve milk production and adaptability. Danish red cattle are known for their solid reddish-brown color, which can vary from light to dark. Their coat is short, dense, and sleek, helping them adapt to different weather conditions. Some may have white markings on the udder, tail switch, and occasionally on the head and body. These cattle are generally of medium to large size, with a well-balanced build, sturdy frame, and good muscling. Both horned and polled, hornless, individuals can be found, but the majority of the breed is polled for ease of management and safety. They have a well-proportioned head with a broad forehead and a straight or slightly concave profile. Their eyes are usually large and bright, and they typically have medium-sized, well-set ears that point slightly forward. Their hooves are strong, strong and well-structured, supporting their weight and allowing them to move comfortably. Danish red cattle usually mature relatively early, which can be advantageous for beef production. They are known for their calm and docile temperament, making them easier to handle and manage. Danish red cattle are known for their adaptability. They can tolerate moderate heat and have good cold tolerance, thanks to their thick coats. They are comfortable in temperatures ranging from 5 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. However, during hot weather, they may require shade and access to water. These cattle are efficient feed converters and are known for their milk production, which averages around 6,000 to 8,000 liters per year. The gestation period for these cattle is around 280 to 290 days, and the calves are usually born weighing between 35 to 45 kilograms. The cows typically weigh around 550 to 650 kilograms and the bulls around 900 to 1000 kilograms. They stand approximately 140 centimeters tall and have a strong, muscular frame. While they are primarily bred for dairy production, their meat quality is also acceptable. The milk they produce is of good quality and suitable for various dairy products. In good management conditions, a Danish red cow can have an average of 6 to 8 calvings in their lifetime. 
The daily body weight gain for bull calves in their first year can range from 700 to 900 grams per day, while for heifer calves, it can range from 600 to 800 grams per day. These cattle have good natural immunity and can handle common diseases and parasites relatively well. Bulls usually reach maturity at around 18 to 24 months, while heifers generally reach maturity at around 15 to 18 months. Despite their adaptability to various climates and landscapes, proper healthcare, housing, breeding, and general herd management are still important for their well-being and productivity. The specific management demands can vary depending on the farm's location, size, and management practices. Farmers might prefer Danish red cattle for several reasons. These cat cattle are adaptable to various climates and environments, with good heat and cold tolerance, making them suitable for different regions and weather conditions. Their adaptability is evident in their ability to thrive in the Danish climate. Known for their efficient feed conversion, Danish red cattle can convert forage into milk relatively well. This efficiency makes them cost-effective in terms of feed utilization, helping to reduce feed expenses and maximize milk production. Danish red cows produce milk with good butter fat content and quality, suitable for various dairy products, including butter and cheese. Farmers seeking to produce high-quality dairy products may choose Danish red cattle for these milk attributes. While primarily bred for milk production, Danish red cattle also have potential as a dual-purpose breed. They can provide a balance between milk production and meat quality, allowing farmers to diversify their income streams and maximize resource use. Danish red cattle have a reputation for efficient grazing. They are good grazers and can effectively use pasture resources. This grazing efficiency can be beneficial in pasture-based or organic farming systems, where maximizing forage utilization is essential. Known for their calm and docile temperament, Danish red cattle are easier to handle, reducing stress during handling and milking routines. This also contributes to a safer and more enjoyable working environment for farmers. Danish red cows have good fertility rates and a relatively long productive life. They can have multiple calvings over their lifetime, leading to increased lifetime productivity. This longevity and fertility contribute to the overall profitability and sustainability of a dairy herd. Recog recognized for their environmental sustainability, Danish red cattle are well suited to grazing systems. This can help promote sustainable land management and reduce the environmental impact of dairy farming. Danish Red Cattle have a well-established breed society, the Danish Red Cattle Society, which provides support, guidance, and resources to farmers. The infrastructure and network associated with the breed society can be valuable for breeders seeking assistance and collaboration. Depending on the region, there may be a market demand for Danish Red Cattle or their milk. If there is consumer interest in locally adapted breeds or specific dairy products associated with Danish red cattle, farmers may find market advantages in choosing this breed. While Danish red cattle have many positive attributes, there are a few reasons why a farmer may choose not to select this breed. These cattle have a moderate milk production level compared to some specialized dairy breeds. Farmers aiming for high-volume milk production might opt for other breeds that have higher milk yields. Depending on the region and market demand, Danish red milk may not command a premium price compared to other dairy breeds. Farmers who prioritize marketability and profitability might choose a breed that aligns better with consumer preferences and market demands. Farmers may have specific breeding goals or objectives that do not align with the characteristics of Danish red cattle. For example, if a farmer prioritizes meat production over milk production, there are other breeds that excel in meat quality and growth rates. Danish red cattle tend to be of medium to large size. If a farmer has limitations on space, facilities, or resources, managing larger cattle may be challenging. Farmers seeking smaller or more compact breeds might look for alternatives. While Danish red cows generally have a moderate calving difficulty, individual animals can vary. If a farmer prefers cattle with lower calving difficulties, other breeds may offer better options, as minimizing calving issues can reduce labor, expenses, and risks associated with calving complications. Danish red cattle were specifically bred to adapt to the Danish climate and farming conditions. If a farmer is located in a region with significantly different climatic or environmental conditions, other breeds might be more suitable for local challenges. 
Depending on the location, availability of Danish red cattle, genetics, and support services such as breeding programs and expertise may be limited. If a farmer requires easy access to breed-specific resources, it may be more challenging with less commonly available breeds. And that brings us to the end of our deep dive into the Danish red cattle. We've journeyed through its rich history, explored its unique characteristics, and weighed the pros and cons of raising this breed. Remember, every breed has its strengths and challenges, and the Danish red is no exception. As a farmer, it's crucial to understand these aspects to make an informed decision that best suits your farming needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow farmers and cattle enthusiasts. For more insightful videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Spectrum of Wisdom. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll continue to explore the fascinating world of cattle breeds. Until then, keep farming, keep learning, and keep growing. This is Spectrum of Wisdom, signing off. Thank you for watching.